Bonneville, Utah. Since 1914, this large piece of flat earth has seen land speed records set and broken again and again. These 18 kilometers have played host to the fastest combustion engine vehicles on the planet. However, times are changing here at Bonneville. The electric era is beginning. And out here in the desert is a familiar outfit from the Formula E paddock. This Monaco-based team has long been involved with battery-based records, setting an electric speed record in 2010, achieving a speed of 307 miles per hour. But now, the Venturi boys are back in town to break it. The Ohio State University Center for Automotive Research specializes in battery technology. So since the mid-90s, they've been involved in program, motorsports programs, first intercollegiate, uh, formula car racing, and now the land speed racing as a way to promote what they do, the research they do there, but even more importantly, as a way to bring along new young engineers and put them in uh, problem-solving uh, situations, and it's worked fantastically. So it's an all-electric vehicle, all battery-powered. You've got about 3,000 horsepower equivalent of battery power. You have uh, lithium-ion batteries, this whole carbon fiber brick in the front. Much like Formula E, the engineers work tirelessly to break their own record with this incredible piece of engineering, the VBB3, or Buckeye Bullet 3. Uh, the number of hours that have gone into this is, uh, we couldn't count them. And Roger Schroer is the man responsible for controlling all this power and trying to set a new top speed. I try to uh, sort of tamp down my emotions when I'm in the car and focus on what I'm supposed to be doing, which is executing the run uh, in the best manner possible to achieve the highest speed possible. Of course, that's the goal. They asked me if you get really nervous on the start line, and I said, usually the car's broken, and he's falling asleep waiting for us to go, so. Pretty close on it. About ready for vehicle up. This is it. After six days of intensive testing, it's time to take to the salt flats. Uh, when he heads off in you know, a high-speed run, uh, you've seen him uh, leave the push truck. He's gone within about a half a mile, and you can't even make out the car. It's the best day of my life. Everything's working well if he's that far away from you. Good to go. The run is clocked at an incredible top speed of 358 miles per hour, setting a new electric record and raising the bar for all electric technology. 